Hi, today I wanted to show you this website. Um, it's called Beitonite, means our environment in, uh, in Arabic. Uh, it's the Kuwait official uh, environmental portal, uh, which is developed and managed by the Environmental Monitoring Information System of Kuwait and uh, the Environment Public Authority uh, of Kuwait, the EPA. Uh, I'm really impressed by all those professionals in the Middle East who are really ca carrying out a really, really uh, nice uh, project as this one. Uh, and as the one uh, I showed you last time about uh, Abu Dhabi. Uh, so this one there, uh, Beitana, uh, has two parts. The first one, uh, let's start with the first one, the knowledge base and then we we'll go to the environmental explorer. So first as you can see uh, the pages in Arabic were also available in, uh, in English so for uh, this video we'll uh, go to the English pages. So there we are. Uh, so you see first that the layout is quite dark uh, and uh, they're displaying quite uh, flashy colors like uh, flashy red and uh, dark green and uh, the orange color uh, and uh, this kind of uh, icon there, hot issues so you see uh, fire flames so basically the purpose uh, the purpose of uh, this background uh, was uh, intentionally to shock people basically uh, first on uh, saving energy so it's, it's a kind of a symbol for saving energy what they want to say is uh, to people it's uh, to, to, to make them aware to, to tell them to not to waste not to waste energy so if we want we can then turn the light on by clicking on this lamp uh, on the top so now we have a, a fresh and uh, bright uh, website uh, with a nice background. The knowledge base offers a lot of multimedia, multimedia and other articles about the environment in Kuwait, such, such as articles, reports, maps, magazines and so on. So basically if you want uh, to get uh, articles or materials for increasing your knowledge on biodiversity uh, in Kuwait, just click on uh, this tab there, and there you go. Got there an article uh, speaking about insects. Uh, you can also uh, view maps. So this one is a, a protected areas uh, of Kuwait map, and you can download it if you want by clicking on this icon or the download icon uh, at the bottom left of the uh, the map. Got also some photos there. So is there find articles and, and maps about the air, uh, water, energy, biodiversity, soil, oil and gas, industry, marine and waste. The other side of the of the of the website is the environmental explorer. So first uh, you can uh, if you want take a tour uh, so we'll, we'll just follow the tour uh, uh, for the website and uh, you will go through all the functionalities of the website uh, so we will uh, not uh, do it this way this time you've got a toolbar there to move around uh, again you see uh, a black background and uh, shocking uh, icons color uh, is that the layout is quite expressive and uh, also uh, 
this this kind of, of color, the black color. We're not really used to it, maybe in uh, Europe and, uh, and uh, the USA, where we uh, on GIS website we use more colors like green or blue or light colors. But uh, but this uh, kind, this type of colors, uh, this type of layout uh, matches the uh, taste, uh, matches the culture of the Kuwaiti people, and especially kids, and uh, also in. The Arab countries, so people uh, feel like uh, an appeal, feel attracted to the to the website, and uh, and are keen on exploring. And also the the idea is also to be shocking, to to shock the people uh, in uh, in overall. So it has uh, some nice functionalities. For example, the fix our environment uh, tool. Basically, you can just report the problem that you have in your in your area by uh, following five steps. So, uh, let's say uh, yes, uh, you want to help. So, if you don't know uh, the coordinates of uh, the uh, actual location, you can uh, just click on the Gobernet, so Ahmadi, the neighborhood. Desert. and you can just pick up this landmark there uh, we pin it down there and the latitude and longitude come up on the on the boxes next So you select the type of problem. Let's say you've got a problem uh, with water that you want to, to report, or you can uh, and you can also uh, uh, give a, a description of the problem that you have with uh, water. So no water supply today. Click on next. You can also add up some pictures. Uh, for example, if you're on the spot, uh, you can maybe uh, add pictures that you have taken with your smartphone. You click on next. You fill uh, you fill out this form with your name, your contact details, your age, email, etc. And uh, you click on next, and that will go to uh, the uh, will go to the appropriate uh, people who will be dealing with uh, with the issue and, and fix it. So that's quite uh, uh, interesting and, uh, and useful. So we won't uh, fill out this form today uh, because we don't want to report a fake problem. And it has other uh, nice functionalities. Uh, you can click on our environment maps. And from there, you can download maps provided from uh, Daytona uh, and uh, partners. So if you click on download maps, then you can uh, you can download uh, this map. So you just uh, fill out the form again there, and then you'll be able to download your your map. So I hope that you like this presentation. I invite you to uh, to uh, really visit this website uh, by clicking on the link. Uh, uh, at the bottom of, of this video, even though we might not all live in, uh, of course, in, uh, in Kuwait, and uh, some uh, functionalities of this website might not apply to us uh, all, it's still interesting to see uh, what we can do with uh, the web mapping uh, technology. It can uh, give some good ideas uh, on how we can uh, we can. Uh, use uh, GIS web mapping for the environmental application and uh, can also be uh, it can also be useful for those who uh, who needs to uh, increase their knowledge about uh, the environment in the Middle East or to uh, access data uh, related to uh, to uh, Kuwait and uh, the Middle East thank you hope to see you soon bye bye